I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to today's webcast. You may have noticed we didn't have a webcast up over the weekend because here in Oklahoma, it snowed and came a big freeze. And I've been sort of uh, socked in to my uh, driveway and my house, and we were unable to get over here to get a webcast put up. Forgive me, will you? I will try to make up for it this week. Another thing, um, some of you have been clicking onto our website and seeing this big red warning sign come up, say, uh, this website has, has been infected with the virus and it's going to kill your computer. And s suddenly this little green uh, deal goes across like it's checking your computer to see if you have any viruses. And oh, what do you know? It comes up with 10... Um, 10 uh, viruses on your C drive and uh, 35 viruses on this drive and in this uh, documents folder and all that. It's all bogus, folks, let me tell you. Whoever put that up on our website is just trying to get you to uh, click onto their website and buy a, a bogus package of virus control. As a matter of fact, there was no virus. I have a Macintosh computer, okay? I don't have a C drive. And it came up and said, I'm checking your, checking your C drive. And oh, what do you know? You have. And so I looked at their viruses, and they were all dated two years ago in the year 2008. And all those viruses were put on at the same time on the same day two years ago. <laughs> Obviously, the people who hacked into our website and put that little little piece up there, uh, didn't bother to update their own uh, piece of garbage, all right? And basically, it was not a virus. They put a code, they intercept our traffic, put a code and put a pop-up up. And uh, many times when you click onto a website, you have a pop-up, you know. They want to sell you this and sell you that and sell you this and sell you that. And then, of course, when you try to click off of it, why, it'll come up with a, are you sure you want to click off of this? Be sure, and you know, your, your computer is about to die, and you need to get this from us. Click here, and we'll save your neck. It's all a lie. What else can I tell you? When you click off of it and go out, you can go back into our website, and uh, you can get our website just fine. There's nothing wrong with our website. All right? I just want you to know. And by the way, one technician told me he thought they were coming out of Russia. You know, these little pipsqueak thugs in the villages, in these small villages around different countries of the world, whether it be France or Somalia or uh, uh, Russia. Uh, most of the people think, wow, this guy's amazing. He's making all this money from those dumb Americans. That's the way the world looks at them because they're not religious. They don't believe in integrity and honesty. Uh, they want to rip off everybody they can and steal your credit cards, et cetera, et cetera. And we have had, uh, we've had problems in the past. We've, we're going to try to get this fixed. We're going to try to get over to a Linux server so that we won't have this problem. And I, I don't know exactly what to tell you except you, your computer when you click on the prophecy in the news, your computer is not vulnerable. And you can click on and watch the webcast uh, anytime you want to. Another thing, we have been, um, we've been, we've gotten behind. We've had so much work to do here. With the building of the new studio and what have you, we've gotten behind, and I'm sorry for that. I apologize for it. We, we don't have our uh, webcast, uh, our, our weekly television program up like it should be. But we're getting there. We're going to get them up, all of them up, and our podcast as well. So you just uh, be patient with us, okay? We're trying to get all of the kinks worked out. Plus, update our website to where it will not be vulnerable to these uh, thieves. All right? So I wanted you to know that. Well, one more thing. I guess I need to talk to you about a little bit of prophecy, huh, before we uh, leave today's program. 2012 in the ancient Cherokee rattlesnake prophecies in the book Apollyon Rising 2012 by uh, Tom Horn. 
He writes the Cherokee Rattlesnake Prophecies, also known as the Chickamauguan Prophecy or the Cherokee Star Constellation Prophecies, are part of a series of apocalyptic prophecies made by the members of the Cherokee tribe from 1811 to 1812. The prophecies are very similar to the Mesoamerican belief and are viewed by scholars as likely referring to the return of the feathered serpent god Quetzalcoatl in the year 2012. Like the Mayans, the Cherokee calendar ends mysteriously in the year 2012 when astronomical phenomena related to Jupiter, Venus, Orion, and the Pleiades cause, quote, powers, end quote, of the star system to, quote, awaken, end of quote. So a portion of the rattlesnake prophecy reads thus, and I'm quoting from the rattlesnake prophecy. At this time, that would be around 2012, of the fingers striking Jupiter and that Orion star system will awaken, and the Pleiades and Orion will war once again as in old. Jupiter and Venus will awaken to its destiny of time, untimed.